Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Swallowed Star episode number 164 based on novel. So let's start. Virtual Universe, Heavenly Bridge. In the center of the beautiful island, the watchman Bevan was going through his list. Suddenly, he spotted three silhouettes appearing simultaneously on the island. Luo Feng, Rong Jun and Wuka. The three of you have all come together. Hum the Nine Universe Bridge is empty, however, Rong Jun and Wuka, you are both from the huge Axe sect. Only one can attempt at a time, you can pick who goes first. Watchman Bevan smiled as he looked at these three. Rong Jun and Wuka both shook their heads. Not us, we aren't attempting the bridge. It's Luo Feng, this madman Wuka said. Right, it's Luo Feng. He's attempting the sixth level. Rong Jun smiled. Lord Bevan, there shouldn't be any problem with us watching the live broadcast right. What do you say Luo Feng? Watchman Bevan looked at Luo Feng. Sure. Luo Feng smiled and nodded. Rong Jun and Wuka were the two in the same batch of geniuses that he was closest to. Hence, allowing them to watch the broadcast was nothing. Rong Jun and Wuka, you two watch. Luo Feng smiled and became a blur, flying towards the Nine Universe Bridge. Nine Universe Bridge Level 6. Amidst the howling winds, Luo Feng stood on the bridge, squinting his eyes to see through the tornado ahead as best he could. Choose your opponent, fighter, controller, or hypnotist. Pick any one, defeat him and you can proceed to the seventh level. The tornado's voice resounded. Controller. Luo Feng said without hesitation. A silhouette immediately flew out of the tornado. It was the same silver-armored man, stepping on a dark cloud shuttle and carrying a dark golden long rod on his back. He was staring coldly at Luo Feng through his mask, only universe level 9 and you wish to attempt the heavenly bridge level 6. You were defeated in one move previously, yet you seem quite confident considering the short amount of time passed. Of course. Luo Feng nodded. The dark golden long rod behind him immediately became like a sun. Large amounts of gold light shot out, covering the skies and land. Close to 3,000 little golden blades immediately formed 36 golden blades that were one kai long in mid-air these 36 blades floated before Luo Feng, immediately transforming and combining into one. Countless gold threads in turn weaved to form a perfect combination. An ancient-looking dark golden long blade floated before Luo Feng. Nanshan Armaments 5 Level, Space Slicer. In truth, the reason behind his inability to unleash this fifth level earlier, even though he had comprehended the tenth and eleventh wonder was mainly due to his gold origin law comprehension lagging behind. And within these two years, the Golden Horned Beast had been studying the battle technique tear skies and land. Also, with the combination of the three ancient pictures, its improvement speed was shocking. Hence, there was already no difficulty in unleashing the fifth level. Very good, you can unleash the fifth level too. However, similar fifth levels will have different amounts of power. The silver armored man laughed loudly. Immediately, the dark golden long rod behind him too shot out large amounts of gold light, swiftly forming into one dark golden long blade beside him. The two of them faced off, staring at each other. Absolute domain. Space slicer. Luo Feng's gaze was cold, simultaneously unleashing his strongest combo. Go. The silver-armored man pointed at Luo Feng. Two dark golden beams of light tore through the space and pierced at each other. The silver-armored man's dark golden light was shockingly fast. Even now, in terms of speed, Luo Feng's dark golden long blade was a little slower. Not just speed, its flight was extremely unpredictable as well. Even though Nan Shan Armament's fifth-level space slicer's speed and power were extremely high, the Silver Armored Man's Space Slicer was the most perfect and orthodox way of unleashing it with extremely high power. The Silver Armored Man's version was the orthodox method. However, Luo Feng's way however was obviously special in a different way. His dark golden long blade was infused with twelve of the wonders, triggering the pressure of the universe space around. Simultaneously, his study of the ancient pictures these two years, the gold origin law comprehension from studying tearing sky and land, all these were melded into his blade, causing it to be filled with immense power. One was speed and power. One was space pressure and power. When the two blades were shot out and clashed, the silver-armored man's blade obviously fell in speed, almost as though it was affected by a formless pressure. 
Luo Feng's blade however seemed to be assisted by the universe, space itself, and pierced forward. The dark golden long blade became a beam of light, and as they clashed, pierced right through the enemy's head. The sixth level. Success. Rigid, not flexible. Luo Feng smiled, these two years. I've been studying the time-space scribbles to comprehend the nine universe tablets drizzle picture. My comprehension can be considered at 80 points now. Your technique should be considered completely reaching 100 points on the drizzle picture, hence the difference in power. It's a pity though, you still lost to me. Since Primal Chaos City, I've understood the raindrop picture and the drizzle picture to an incomparable perfection. Only because I was studying the essence and with that knowledge as the roots, connected with the universe space, that's the true path. From using space, affecting space, this is the improvement from the essence. Luo Feng smiled, flying straight ahead to the seventh level. At the bridge, center of the island. Rong Jun and Wu Ke were both shocked by the scene that they just saw. He succeeded. Rong Jun's eyes were filled with shock. How, how can that be? Wu Ke couldn't believe it either. It's, it's only been two years. And it's two years outside, the training speed outside cannot compare to that in Primal Chaos City. In theory, attempting the higher levels of the Heavenly Bridge required more time as it got higher. And the comprehension speed outside shouldn't compare to that in Primal Chaos City, they estimated that after 10 years outside, Luo Feng would only then be able to pass the sixth level. This made more sense in their minds. Pity, only the illogical are truly geniuses. That's the true madman. Time space scribbles, tear sky and land and the three ancient pictures. Along with Luo Feng's later comprehension of the Nine Universe Tablet, they all resulted in his breakthrough in two short years. Attempting the seventh level. Space. Luo Feng flew to the seventh level. It was very mysterious, as before him no longer stood a tornado, but an endless space. The seventh level of the heavenly bridge was actually the scene of space. Luo Feng finally reached the end of the seventh level. There floated a little meteorite that had a diameter of a few kilometer, a voice resounded from it. Pick your opponent, fighter, controller, hypnotist, pick one and you can attempt the seventh level. Controller. Luo Feng shouted, filled with anticipation within. This seventh level opponent, just what attack would he unleash? Would it still be the same dark golden long blade? Or even higher? The meteorite before him suddenly broke off a small piece of rock. That piece rolled on the bridge and transformed into a blue armored mask wearing controller on a dark cloud shuttle and dark golden long rod on his back. Universe level 9 youth, to be able to reach this stage, congratulations. I hope you can pass this level. The blue armored man was obviously much older. Luo Feng didn't hesitate, immediately forming the dark golden long blade that floated beside him. Not bad. The blue armored man walked down from the dark cloud shuttle onto the bridge. Simultaneously, the dark golden long rod on his back immediately shot out seemingly endless amount of gold light. The entire sky changed color, the surround bridge, space, everything vanished, all that could be seen was the countless blade energy circling around him. Luo Feng's expression changed, this is blade world. Nanshan Armament 6th level, Blade World. According to the Nanshan Armament's power each level, jumping from level 5 to 6 was extremely difficult. It could be said, that from the 5th to 6th level, and the 8th to 9th level, these were the hardest levels to break through altogether. Actually, just from the number of little golden blades used it be seen. The 5th level Space Slicer used 2,916 little golden blades. The 6th level Blade World, used 5,832 little golden blades. This was twice as much as the fifth. One had to know, there were only a total of 10,081 little golden blades in the dark golden long rod, the later increases weren't as huge as this one. Similarly, the blade world's might was incredibly powerful. World, why world? Only sector lords could control a world, form a world and use that strength. However, the blade world move uses the strength of the origin laws, allowing one to use the strength of a world. However, the world strength of the blade world was slightly weaker than the true strength of a world. Still, it was terrifying. The sixth level, after completely comprehending it, any domain lord that could use the sixth level could almost be invincible in his level in the universe. You better go train more. The blue armored man smiled. The entire world pressured down, for exceeding the amount of space pressure Luo Feng could affect, in an instant crushing down and piercing Luo Feng's head. Luo Feng, failure. Total defeat, it was too strong. The moment that move was unleashed, it completely controlled that side of the world. Luo Feng sighed. When will I be able to unleash the sixth level? Luo Feng was very clear. 
That from the fifth to sixth level, that was the Nanshan armament's most extreme evolution of all nine levels. It didn't seem at all easier than the breaking through to the last level. Rongjun wasn't the sort to spread news. However, Wuka was the type who couldn't hold it in, the news quickly spread. Primal region. Bolan was in a white robe, flying in the air of the primal region. Suddenly a sturdy silhouette shot over. Bolan. Bolan turned to look, it was Long Yun. Bolan looked silently at Long Yun waiting for him to speak. Do you know? Luo Feng had just passed the Heavenly Bridges sixth level today. Long Yun said. The initially calm and collected Bolan suddenly had a change in his expression. His eyes focused and he said softly, I got it. After which he flew towards his living quarters. After a while, in the center of the Heavenly Bridge Island. A white-robed Bolan suddenly appeared. Bolan. Watchman Bevan smiled and looked at him. You really came. I'm attempting the seventh level. Bolan's eyes gleamed with cold light. The breakthroughs are every three levels. From level 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9. This level 7 is much harder than level 6. Watchman Bevan looked at Bolan. It's only been two years since you passed level 6 and you wish to attempt the seventh level. I want to try. Bolan emphasized. All right, go on, there's no one in the universe heavenly bridge. Watchman Bevan smiled. The white-robed Bolan flew straight at the universe heavenly bridge. Universe heavenly bridge seventh level. The blue-armored man carried a blood-colored blade. Wearing a mask, he coldly gazed at the white-clothed youth. Young man, the universe primal chaos tablet, is the most profound and hardest to study of the 52 tablets. Studying both space and time and going through these tests, your achievements in space can even reach the ninth level. However, in time itself, you only have the skills of level 3 or 4. Let me advise you, go back and study more, raise your comprehension of time more before coming back. The white-clothed youth was expressionless, his gaze cold. He brandished the blood blade from behind. The blue-armored man shook his head. The region about became a blur, as space and time were simultaneously affected. The white-clothed youth continued to instantly produce over 10,000 images. However, his head was still pierced. Seventh level, failure. In the center of the island, the only one watching this scene was Watchman Bevan. He shook his head and sighed, too proud, this Bolan is too proud. I estimate that he had been leading far ahead since he was young, stronger than everyone. Hence, he has an absolute heart of pride. With his comprehension of the space laws, back then during the genius battles, his space comprehension alone far exceeded many sector lords. Even comparable to a few undyings. Such high comprehension of space laws. With such talent, theoretically speaking, the best way is to focus on space itself and put all his attention and time and resources into the space origin laws. This way, he can get stronger than before. Amplifying his strengths. That way, he would still have a chance of becoming a space knight. A pity. He's too proud. Hence before the genius battles, he began to study the wind laws and use it as a stepping stone to studying time. The most important choice in Primal Chaos City is the choosing which of the 52 tablets to train in. Theoretically speaking, our virtual universe company has always respected the choices of the geniuses. However, back then, we made an exception and discussed with him, advising him to spend his time and energy on space. Choosing a tablet that focused only on space. Like Luo Feng's choice, the Nine Universe tablet was very suitable for Bolan, however. He's too proud. Absolute confidence, he didn't even listen. Still choosing the hardest universe tablet. Watchman Bevan simply sighed. How many people have regretted their choice? Such terrifying level of talent. After Primal Chaos City's training, Luo Feng's Earth body could at most unleash a 100 images. However Bolan, from the genius battle period, he could already unleash 1000 images. If he studied the Nine Universe tablet, he would have completely comprehended the raindrop and drizzle picture in a short amount of time, going on to study the downpour picture. In terms of space talent, he was far more terrifying than Lian Luo. Pity. The more talented one was, the more proud he would be too. His rushing, his pride, is making him rush. He's finally been caught up by someone of the same generation. Watchman Bevan watched the distant universe, heavenly bridge from the distant space. Speaking softly, he's probably never ever tasted such a feeling before in his life. At the last period in Primal Chaos City, when Luo Feng passed the fifth level, he rushed to attempt the sixth, luckily he succeeded. He managed to keep his pride. However now, in two short years, Luo Feng passed the sixth. And he rushed once again, without even any guarantee to attempt the seventh. Pity. He wasn't as lucky this time. He failed. The seventh level compared to the sixth, 
is simply too much harder. He was defeated in one move. Failure. He's finally been caught up. This may be a good thing for him. Watchman Bevan said softly. It's up to him whether he falls into depression or reflects on himself because of Luo Fong. Yu Xiong Mountain was as peaceful as ever. Wu Ke, Rong Jun and Luo Fong didn't even know of Bolin's attempted failure of the seventh level. While Bolin had received the huge setback and was bearing with it, Luo Fong's mood was extremely good. Absorbing the second crystal was successful, I've comprehended the twelfth wonder and now I've passed the sixth level. Luck is on my side. Luo Fong had just had a huge party and eaten a huge feast with his parents, wife and children in the Black Dragon Mountain Nine Star Bay. After which, he laughed as he arrived at the Fantasy Ocean. Fantasy Ocean, Luo Fong stood by the ocean. Heart like a mirror, even if dust landed on the mirror, he would still see clearly. His boundaries and his perspective were all clear before him. As all was clear and untarnished. When it was time to laugh he would laugh, time to rage he would rage, time to kill, there wouldn't be any hesitation. Heart like a blade, this made Luo Fong's actions all deliberate and to the point, there weren't any hesitation or procrastination. I've been in the huge pit for two years, absorbing the invasion of the stronger and stronger killing aura. My willpower, in training under such conditions, is getting more and more sturdy. My consciousness control is also getting stronger. I shall try, the tenth island of the fantasy ocean, let's see what happens. Luo Feng smiled, rushing into the sky and swiftly plunging deep into the ocean. Fantasy ocean, it was currently where Luo Feng had acquired the most points. Before, he had consecutively passed nine levels, making him acquire a huge amount of points, 51, 100 points. Of which just the ninth level alone was 25,600 points, the tenth was 51,200. As for the points from the heavenly bridge were pitiful, passing the sixth level was only 3,200 points. After all, he already didn't have the ten times reward from primal chaos city. The moment one missed that, it was gone. This was also why, Luo Feng was approached by others during the classes to exchange for points. Fantasy Ocean, Heavenly Bridge, these were all hard to pass. Only thing was Luo Feng's consciousness was powerful, Golden Horned Beast's consciousness, his willpower was even more terrifying, personal training from his two brothers and natural talent, hence he could have such achievements in the Fantasy Ocean. Fantasy Ocean Island 10 Luo Feng descended and landed on a peak of a 100m mountain on the island. It's come. Luo Feng focused and looked up at the sky. Finally that vast illusion followed with the terrifying pressure descended. This endless pressure was almost like a land and sky covering mountain smashing down. However, Luo Feng's willpower caused his consciousness to focus and condense, constantly condensing into an iron rock, his consciousness and willpower was one, one state of mind. Rumble. The pressure of the mountain crashed down, clashing against that incredibly sturdy mental state, it held strong for a brief moment before finally crumbling and completely dispersing. The pressure of the tenth island is simply too strong. I've had quite an improvement over these two years. However, this little improvement, against the pressure of the tenth island, it still crumbles into nothing, I have to work harder. This tenth island has over 50k points, it wouldn't be so easy to acquire it. Luo Feng didn't seem affected by the failure at all. Because. He wasn't like Bolin, Bolin had always been number one. Luo Feng however, had never been number one before. On earth, he wasn't number one amongst the students. After becoming a warrior, the most outstanding at that time was Hong and Thunder God. Even after entering the elite training, he still wasn't number one. And whether it was the elimination, universe country matches and the final pinnacle fights, Luo Feng was never number one. As he was never number one, failure to him was a chance to reflect on why he failed. It was a chance to learn and improve. One of them had always been number one, the universe genius competition's most outstanding genius. While the other one had never been number one. Even Barbata, who knew him well thought it would be hard for him to make it into the top 1000 of the universe. Now, he was neck and neck. Blood River Continent, the most mysterious and vast region, the ancient god ruins. Huge pit quarters. It's been over two years since I begun training in this huge pit. My mind had been on training mode since then. When I first came, I was prepared to go deep into the huge pit to explore. However I haven't done so these two years. Luo Feng stood at the side of the pathway, gazing into the endless aura before him and surveying the endless depths below. This was a terrifyingly huge pit. If, just the outer layer had a diameter of close to 10,000 kilometers, what about the depths? He didn't even know. I'll take a good look at what's there. Luo Feng's thoughts moved and the normal black rock at the side of the cave immediately vanished into his internal world. This rock was actually the Mosha clan transformed. 
The Mosha clansman could transform into anything. Its natural talent allowed his energy to morph into anything. Let's go down. Luo Feng jumped and followed the terrifying gravity down, descending further and further. These endless depths had a diameter that reached 10,000 kilometers, what about the depths then? It's already 5,000 kilometers. The mad winds howled in his ears as he continued to descend. He was shocked within, I've already descended 5,000 kilometers, I still haven't seen the bottom of the pit. The thickness of the aura is still the same. The shocking speed of which Luo Feng descended at caused great resistance. The gravity and his resistance finally equaled and he descended at a stable speed. Ah, it's changed. The thickness of the aura has changed. Luo Feng was shocked as he descended. This is about 9,000 kilometers in depth. Kill. Kill kill. The endless killing intent rushed into his consciousness. That powerful rush was twice what it was before. Not just the killing willpower, even the strength of the thickness was about twice. Luo Feng continued to descend. This huge pit, just how deep is it? Luo Feng continued to descend right into the depths. The thickness of the aura is slowly increasing. The more he descended, the more he felt the thickness increase. Right now the thickness of the aura has already reached about three times of my huge pit quarters. He had already descended close to 15,000 kilometers. Not right. Luo Feng's expression changed. His entire being in the endless depths suddenly stopped from his terrifying speed before. His expression was heavy. Frowning heavily, it's weaker, the thickness of the aura is weaker. Since starting his descent, from about 9,000 kilometers down it was two times stronger than before, and it increased more and more until it was three times, that was the peak. When he descended further, the aura started getting weaker. The region with the strongest aura is actually the center of the pit, and not the bottom. Luo Feng was curious, following which he flew upwards to look for the region with the thickest aura. Right here. Luo Feng floated in mid-air, feeling the thickness of aura about. Any higher and the aura would decrease. Any lower and the thickness would diminish too. In front of Luo Feng, the red killing aura floated about. The depth that he was in was where the aura was thickest. However, the entire area was simply too vast, he was simply at the side of the mountain wall. I'm at the edge of the thickest area, what would the center of it be like? Luo Feng carefully headed towards the center of the endless amount of killing aura. He traveled at 100 kilometers per second and got closer towards the center. The thickness is rising, it's actually getting thicker here. 3.5 times, 4 times, 4.5 times, 5 times, 6 times. As he got closer to the center, the thickness grew even more shockingly. The killing willpower that invaded his consciousness was terrifying, almost like countless slaughter demons cheering within. The demons' voices were either forceful and strong or formless in their invasion, continuously messing with Luo Feng's willpower. It's too strong. Luo Feng stopped at the seven times region. His face was slightly pale, squinting, his gaze like a blade, sweat beading from his forehead. This killing aura is simply, simply too, terrifying. The endless killing aura filled one's entire consciousness. Compared to Luo Feng's willpower however, this willpower was much weaker, however it was solid and trained. Even though these killing auras are scattered and not organized, with countless amounts gathered together, it's still very strong. I can take it, however I have to be extremely cautious with it. Luo Feng's expression was serious. During his stay at the huge pit quarters, he would receive killing aura invasions unexpectedly. However, the level of attack back then wasn't much, as he could completely focus on studying his origin laws. However now, at seven times the thickness, he had to focus strongly on defending against the invasion of the killing aura. I'll go to my maximum and see where I can reach. Luo Feng gradually continued to fly. He slowed down his speed, however the thickness rose even quicker. The closer he got to the center, the more shockingly it rose. Eight times. Luo Feng suddenly stopped in mid-air. The aura before him was already as red as fresh blood. With what he could see with his naked eyes, the aura was like a whirlpool, swirling ahead. Whirlpool core. Luo Feng could see it with a gaze 10 kilometers ahead. The aura within the whirlpool core was extremely thick and terrifying like a red sun. Simultaneously the whirlpool emitted an ancient energy, with a formless enticement that permeated his soul. Come on. Come on. Come here. That formless seduction entered Luo Feng's consciousness. Get out. Luo Feng's consciousness let out a roar that shook his entire mind. Immediately that enticement that invaded his mind was smashed, crumbling into dust. You actually dare to invade my mind. Luo Feng's gaze was piercing, staring at the whirlpool core. I cannot go closer. If I go any closer, I'm afraid that I won't be able to resist. Luo Feng's expression was serious. 
Even though he had detected the enticement in an instant, he had to admit that the allure of the whirlpool core was even more terrifying than the illusion of the fantasy ocean level 9. And that mad killing aura was close to his limit of bearing too. Seven times the thickness, he already felt a huge pressure. Eight times the aura, that was indeed close to his limit. In terms of willpower. Luo Feng's was a pure and genuine willpower, and the enemy was endless killing intent willpower. Now that it was close to his limit, Luo Feng could indeed push it, just a little deeper. However, he didn't dare take the risk. The moment he failed, after successfully being invaded by the killing aura, he would become a bloodthirsty madman. A true madman without logic or reason. That was akin to death. About 10 kilometers away from the whirlpool core, Luo Feng chose to retreat. From the looks of it, my willpower now still isn't strong enough. Luo Feng looked at the blood-like whirlpool before him. If first and second brother were here, they should be able to go closer. Right? Whirlpool. The whirlpool core is the deepest. The further I go the thinner it gets, the outermost spiral arm of the whirlpool, has a depth of 9,000 kilometers. Luo Feng simulated the huge whirlpool in his mind. An aura of the whirlpool with a diameter of 1,000 kilometers, from which the 9,000 kilometers depth was the outermost region of the whirlpool. Hence that area was two times the huge pit quarters. Any further and the thickness would fall another time. This deep part has the thickest aura. So it's actually a whirlpool core. Who knows, what's within that red sunlight core? Luo Feng recalled the killing aura and formless enticement that invaded his mind. Feeling a tremble within, I cannot go deeper. At least not yet. Luo Feng flew to the mountain wall close by, sticking to it and falling 100 m downwards straight to the bottom. I want to see just how deep this huge pit is and see what's at the bottom. Luo Feng continued to descend. 15,000 kilometers, 20,000 kilometers. The depth of the huge pit obviously exceeded its width, and there was hardly any difference of thickness in aura at the bottom from the huge pit quarters. In the depths of the pit, there were protruding platforms at the sides of the mountains. On one of them, a bronze-armored tall silhouette sat cross-legged. Suddenly he opened his eyes and gazed into the distance, simultaneously a thread of genetic energy permeated to the bottom. Lord, someone's here, pinnacle cloud level, how do we deal with him? Bottom of the huge pit. The killing aura floated about. There, one can see wild grass and plants growing about, and a blood-red palace was erected at the bottom. Leave it to me. A voice rumbled, swiftly reaching the bronze-armored warrior's ears. Second level of the palace. There were many cells there. Within each of them were all kinds of strange mad howls, and occasionally, clashing of metals could be heard. These cells, every one of them were about 10 m high, 10 m long and wide. It was almost like a sealed up square coffin. At this time, one of them began to move on its own. Within this cell, stood a 3 m tall, bent bodied strong warrior, and on his back he carried two huge machetes. However, his hair was messy and his eyes were blood red without any reason or intelligence in them. Aoooo, kill. He let out a low howl, like a wild beast. Go, go kill the person who disturbs the Aster's training. A voice resounded. The wild beast warrior became a beam of light and swiftly rushed out. Luo Feng gently landed as his boots hit the bottom. Moss vegetation. Luo Feng looked at the ground. Surveying his surroundings, he found the bottom was dead silent. Occasionally, he would see the random stones about, obviously these had fallen from the mountains above. Is there no life at this bottom? Luo Feng began to scout about with curiosity, of course he was still cautious. Every step he took he passed 10 kilometers, to scout about in this vast bottom area. Some places were uneven like canyons, while others were like mountains. In terms of surface, the surface of this bottom was closer to Earth's surface. Many 1,000m tall little mountains and canyons that went up to 10,000m could be seen everywhere. Looks like there's nothing special here. Just dead and empty. Luo Feng turned to leave. Suddenly, within his ears, he felt an energy swiftly approaching, instantly that energy became very clear. He turned fiercely, staring into the distance. What a mad aura, he's not trying to hide it at all. I felt him at least 1,000 kilometers away. From his energy, he shouldn't be too strong, cloud level 9. Or domain level 1 or 2. Luo Feng placed his hand on his scabbard on his back, simultaneously feeling the energy swiftly approaching. Howl, a silhouette swiftly appeared. A bent messy-haired wild beast-like warrior appeared. His blood-red eyes filled with madness and killing intent, as he brandished two machetes in his hands. His fallen. Luo Feng swiftly deduced. Under this killing aura environment, he was invaded by the aura and finally lost to it, letting it take over his consciousness. 
He has gone completely mad, and his entire being only knows of killing. Kill, kill. The demon wild person roared out with madness, simultaneously rushing at Luo Foam. Since you've fallen, poor person, I'll do you a favor and send you off. Luo Foam swiftly brandished his blood shadow blade. As the blade left the scabbard, Luo Foam's entire being became a mirage. As that wild person's machete slashed at his image, rumble, dot large amounts of lightning split apart and a 1,000m deep canyon was sliced open. That image simply vanished into nothing. Kill. That mad person immediately turned and waved his machete. It clashed with Luo Feng's blood shadow blade, causing Luo Feng to become a silver light and disappearing into the red killing aura. What a keen and nibble fellow, and his blade work had the feeling of the ground origin laws. The moment I get close, he can easily defend. This mad demon, before he fell, he should have been quite powerful. After slightly retreating, Luo Feng became an image and vanished. That wild demon however roared and madly rushed over again. Kill. Kill. Just the air pressure from the two huge machetes alone caused countless amounts of rubble to fall from the surrounding mountains. His blood-red eyes swept the surroundings. Simultaneously, he unleashed a formless spirit energy to look for Luo Feng. An incredibly beautiful flash of a blade. So beautiful it made one's heart tremble. Even the space around at this time seemed to stop. This flash was silver in color, and when the flash finally ended, in that instant it even had hints of gold. The flash sliced right through the demon's neck, and the sharp flash extended to pierce into his body, immediately right into his life core, causing it to explode. Kill, 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 the demon person's head fell on the floor. His mouth was slightly moving, still mindlessly muttering the words kill, even as his neck spurting out blood and crumbled on the floor. Luo Feng gathered himself and stood there. With a solemn expression, he looked at the corpse on the floor. Fresh blood flowed onto the moss, staining the ground red. The decapitated body of the wild man was still slightly twitching on the ground. This aura is like a rose. Beautiful yet with thorns. Luo Feng shook his head. The moment one is unable to withstand the willpower, he would become a true mad demon with no sense of logic. It's no different from death. The books had long explained that the ancient god ruins had attracted a large amount of warriors from Blood River continent. At any given time, there were many who were unable to withstand the intense killing aura, in turn, losing all sense of reason and becoming demons who only knew how to kill. This was no different from wild and savage beasts. However, to become strong, countless people still headed here. That's strange. Luo Feng frowned. This bottom area shouldn't be too huge. I estimated it to have a diameter of only 10,000 kilometers. And here's a domain level 1 strength. His flying speed should be very fast. In theory, a demon with low intelligence has no difference from a savage beast. Hence, it is not possible for it to stay here at the bottom. Luo Feng was suspicious. If one placed a cat in a house and didn't lock it up, it couldn't remain there forever. One theory was that the huge pit, to a domain level 1 demon, wasn't huge at all. Did he just become a demon here? Is there such a coincidence? These two years I haven't entered the bottom. Yet, the moment I do, I meet a demon. Luo Feng felt that things went quite right, frowning as he looked at the red aura before him. Within the depths of the huge pit on a certain platform, the bronze-armored silhouette sat cross-legged. He opened his eyes and surveyed below, simultaneously communicating, Lord, the blood demon has been killed, let me settle this punk. No need. A voice filled with thick killing aura resounded in his ears. In the vast endless bottom, within that blood-red palace, a terrifying energy suddenly exploded. At the same time an alluring blood-red light rushed out of the palace. The blood-red aura revolved about. Even with Luo Feng's amazing vision, he could only see 10 kilometers clearly, he could only see a blurry huge body. It's strange. However, I have the Mosha clansman. Hence, I have a guarantee of fleeing. If I'm careful, it shouldn't be a problem. I want to see, just what is below here. Luo Feng hesitated a little at first, after which he swiftly made a decision. However in the time he decided, a terrifying battle-filled aura immediately descended on him. Rumble. Powerful pressure. Just like the some distant ancient demon god had appeared. Not good. Luo Feng's expression changed, immediately swiftly rushing into the sky. The surrounding 1,000 kilometers space immediately condensed, almost like a deep swamp. The entire space became an endless swamp. Luo Feng fought hard to fly up, however with the pressure from the condensed space, it made his speed lower by 1,000 times. The pressure was just unbelievable. Before me, you cannot flee. A thick voice resounded in Luo Feng's ears and mind. Luo Feng's expression changed and he looked upwards. In mid-air, 
he saw a majestic silhouette. This person was dressed in a blood-red long robe, with long hair that reached his legs and had eyes that were a peculiar blood-red. His presence there gave off the feeling of an endless blood ocean. That bloodthirsty aura made even one soul tremble. What a terrifying being. Luo Feng's gaze focused. Since his willpower was incredibly sturdy, he was able to defend against the enemy's energy pressure. Oh my. Blood God Barky. The tall and sturdy man in the blood-red robe stood in mid-air, saying slowly, his voice resounding continuously around the pit. You are really not bad. You are only at cloud level pinnacle, yet you were actually able to kill a blood demon, I tamed that just entered the domain level. Looks like you've already stepped through the gateway to the laws, and doing not bad at that. Luo Feng was shocked. Tamed blood demon. That warrior that had completely been taken over by the killing aura's willpower, and had been reduced to a mad demon, was actually tamed. Right, after becoming a mad demon it didn't have any intelligence, and had only the basic killing intent. His intelligence as low as a wild beast. If one's power was very strong, like taming wild beast, there was definitely a way to control this mad demon. However, the mad demons normally could only slaughter. Cloud level pinnacle, having so many achievements in the laws. Breaking through cloud level, to achieve the domain level, there is a huge difference. Yet, you killed the blood demon. You are very exceptional. The blood red robed man in mid air said slowly. Even though he was complimenting, his voice was still cold, I admire you. You have two choices now. One, submit to me, blood god, and become one of my blood god guards. Henceforth, when I take over the world, you will be one of my loyal subjects. When I become the most exceptional and glaring being of Blood River Continent, you too will receive eternal glory. Two, go against me, and that will lead you to your death. The blood red robed man looked down on Luo Feng, making him shudder within. What was going on? He had just killed a mad demon and a terrifying and powerful being, at least a sector lord level one, otherwise he wouldn't be able to force himself to submit unable to resist. Right now this absolute being was pressuring him to submit. He was a virtual universe company core member. How can he possibly submit to a warrior of Blood River Continent? Submit, or death. The blood-robed man gazed down at Luo Foam. I'll give you ten counts to decide. Ten. The blood-robed man's eyes, which were completely red, seemed to hold within them endless killing intent. That terrifying willpower pressure had completely descended on Luo Foam, and Luo Foam was like a solid rock trying his best to resist. Nine. Eight. Seven. Like a god raging, the entire space trembled. Luo Feng felt the pressure about get more shocking, and that blood-robed man's killing intent grew heavier. Luo Feng didn't even suspect that if he didn't make a decision at the end, the enemy would just kill him. From the enemy's incomparably clear willpower, he could tell. This was a warrior that had slaughtered countless. He was one with exceptional pride and confidence, and he didn't allow anyone to go against him. 3. The voice was cold, his eyes gleaming with chill. Right now I have two choices. One is to immediately transform to the Mosha, and instantly escape as far as possible. Simultaneously entering the automaton ship. Using the ship to accelerate, and rush to the skies out of the 18 cloud levels. The automaton ship is an E-grade ship and is the pinnacle of ships. It belonged to an automaton undying. This man before me, from what I can tell, shouldn't be undying. I have 99% confidence of fleeing. Second choice is to submit. Because he obviously regards me as a genius, hence at least my life won't be in danger. With the first way, the moment I escape, it would reveal my outsider identity. It would result in the entire continent's governing body wanting to kill me. Then I wouldn't be able to return to the ancient god ruins, which has beneficial effects for my absorption of the blood river crystal. If I wanted to acquire more crystals, the moment I leave, I would lose all chances. In an instant, many thoughts flashed in Luo Feng's mind. 2. The blood-robed man's aura began to change. Lord. Luo Feng knelt on one knee, with the most proper bow to a superior used in Blood River Continent, he knelt and shouted. Immediately, the blood-robed man floating in mid-air revealed a smile. He looked satisfied at Luo Feng. Very well, your talent, should be amongst the top three of my blood god guards. I like high talents, and people who know how to make decisions. From now on, you'll be my blood god guard 97. Suddenly human silhouettes swiftly tore through the skies and appeared. Be it from a distance, or descending from above, in a blink of an eye, a total of 96 bronze-armored silhouettes stood on the ground. Every one of these bronze-armored silhouettes had strong energies. The lowest was at least a domain-level existence, with some even exceeding the domain level. Uniformly, the 96 bronze-armored silhouettes knelt on one knee, saying respectfully in unison, Congratulations Lord, 
congratulations. Ha ha, ha ha ha, the blood-robed man laughed loudly. Number one, you are in charge of teaching 97. The blood-robed man laughed loudly, following which he became a blood-colored beam of light, and swiftly vanished. Luo Feng looked at the surrounding 96 bronze-armored silhouettes, and was filled with shock within. By using his strong consciousness and willpower to feel about, he could deduce that among the 96 before him, 94 of them should be domain lord level, domain level, and two were actually sector lord a world level. 97. A tall bronze armored warrior walked over, he smiled. Congratulations on becoming one of our blood god guards. You are the only cloud level of the blood god guards. Just what are the blood god guards, and who's the lord? Luo Feng was curious, asking. Ha ha. The tall warrior and the other guards had an obvious difference, that was a blood red engraving on his armor. Among all the blood god guards, only two of them had this blood red engraving. The two were both at the sector lord level. This man before him was one of the two sector lords. Our lord is an exceptionally rare genius, who could only be found one in a trillion years, from the undying shrine. The tall warrior's voice resounded loudly and was filled with pride. And in the undying shrine, our lord's status isn't lower than some of the undying spirits. The other group of bronze armored silhouettes, many were filled with excitement and worship. If the lord wishes, he could break through to undying in a short time. The tall warrior said proudly. Only, he doesn't want that little achievement. You must know, our lord has already absorbed eight blood river crystals. What, eight? Luo Feng was startled. My god. After absorbing ten blood river crystals, one could become the legendary black warrior. And it was supposed to only be a legend. The tall warrior was satisfied at Luo Feng's shock, nodding, right. Our lord's aim is to become the legendary black warrior. For you to become one of the blood god guards, you should feel proud. Because, there are countless who wish to become one of us, yet they cannot receive the lord's recognition. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.